Hey guys, so this is a, another engine spotlight. Today we're looking at the 1917 Fairbanks and Moores Model Z three horse throttle governor uh, that my wife so graciously let me restore. Um, yeah, I thank her for letting me spend probably more time than I should have in the garage working on this one, but the result is absolutely gorgeous and I just I thank her for letting me take that time to make this happen but anyway this is a 1917 Fairbanks uh, it's not a hit and miss it's a true throttle governing engine but we're running a 1970s Tecumseh carb and a gravity fed tank because this engine didn't come with all the parts it was missing the fuel pump missing the uh, oscillating mag, missing all of that stuff. So it's set up on points and coil ignition, but it runs really good and it starts easy. Now, of course, I'll say that and it won't start for me, but we're going to go on ahead here. I'm going to roll this over, get it through compression, and we'll hit the points. And... Golly. The compression, I tell you guys, is just unbelievable on this engine. I've never really worked on one this big, so this is uh, I do have a crank for this, but it's hard to crank and do good camera work, so We're just going to make sure those point surfaces are clear. Open the choke up there and... Away she runs. So you'll notice when it falters because the wheel, the flywheels look like they're starting to roll backwards on the camera. But it's firing every revolution, and the speed adjustment is this guy right here. So unscrew to speed up, screw in to slow down. And it's rated at three horse at 450 RPM. And this guy here, your water injector, you go ahead and open up that. That injects water from your cylinder jacket into your fuel stream and it quiets down that exhaust just a little bit. Um, and that was when you were running kerosene. Just, you know, quieted everything down a little bit. And I feed this one straight gas because there's no point in burning the kerosene. got a four and a half inch bore and it's probably about a six or seven inch stroke I don't remember I measured it when I first got it home I don't remember copper cooled runs real nice It doesn't really show on camera, but it jumps quite a bit, too. But, like I said, I'm going to increase the speed. Screw that knob out. Runs like a dream. I'm going to slow it down now so she quiets up a little bit. You don't want to 
make the neighbors mad. That right there is about as slow as she'll run. Choke on the carb. I'll just choke it out. Probably not the best way to shut it down, but I'll be running it again soon enough, so it's not too big a deal. But that is the 1917 Fairbanks Morse, guys. Um, drop a like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Or if there's another engine that out of the collection you want to see an engine spotlight on, let me know. Again, a big thanks to my wife and family for letting me keep making videos like this and for letting me take the time to actually pursue this. So, big thanks to them. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.